uh, one of the things I wanted to ask you is that a lot of people I've talked to, a lot of the musicians, um, are in a sense pinning their hopes on your success. You know? it, it puts, I would think, an enormous burden, a lot of pressure on you to, uh, in the sense that many people are depending on you to sort of spear the way for, for <laughs> reggae in the world, you know. I was wondering how you felt about that, uh, if you felt any pressure that way, or... Well, you don't feel that pressure that much, still, you know? But, yeah, there, there, is that a reason, Pop? You never know. <laughs> I never know, yeah. Because I've talked to a lot of musicians, and they say, well, if Bob makes it, you know, or when Bob makes it, or... But you don't... It doesn't bring much pressure to mind on your, on your part. Well, yeah. So much pressure, but we know what I'm really talking. I know what they're talking about still. You know what I mean? In the meanwhile, maybe them should really wait, them should go and play music, you know. Mm. And stop letting the thing be like a road. You know? Mm. We're using it for the vehicle. <laughs> a lot of people, um, are, uh, me in particular, are, have been confused about how the the whalers operate. In other words, it seems sort of like a commune, you know, in which sometimes some musicians are members and a big extended family. Now, is that, uh... Yeah, it's really, really weird thing, you know. I'm mean, another right song. But, yeah, plenty of musicians in Jamaica who are ready to play with the whalers. And if if you want a musician, you can get the you know. For instance, if people say that, that Bunny and, and, and Tosh are, are no longer members of the Whalers because they don't tour, you know, and, they don't, and they're not credited on your albums, yet other people say that they're still in the Whalers family and, uh... Yeah, I'm doing a moon record, you know, but I don't know the tour thing, so I'm going to tour Take care. But we live good. Do you ever feel like the people like in the United States have a wrong idea of what you're about? What and what you're like? But I don't know what any idea that we have right now. You don't? No. We're not. Maybe them can be. I don't know. I hope them really know where I tried it. Because when we are really I tried it, it's going to really be sure that. It's two things you have, good and bad, you know? And so, we want good because we don't want to die. You know what I mean? And the other the system to die. But God said live, you know? So. Well, have you read anything in the press about what they say about you to get an idea? What they think? What they think? Well, like Lester said. No, really, them really are dealing with that thing named reggae. You know? I'm not dealing with that thing named togetherness for the people. You know? But I'm dealing with like reggae. Really, we have a message and we want to get it across. You know? What's that message? Well, the message is to live. You know? Like everybody believes in the dead, live and dead. And we know it's that wrong. Because we know we can live. You know what I mean? And as a Rasta man, so that is how I come in as a Rasta man now. Because it's where you believe in it, where you know it. You know what I mean? The, the, why I am a Rasta man. The man that is crazy world is Rastafari. Would you like to see white kids in Ohio, in the United States, uh, wear dreadlocks, be Rastafari? Yeah. <laughs> you see, righteousness shall cover the earth like the water cover the sea. You understand? So, as far as we can go, as far as we can really go, is like, the more we get to know, so well then, 
you don't mean me no harm and me don't mean me no harm and there's nothing in between right or so why we so far apart mm. you understand then we can come realize so well then it's the same creative power to create I create the next I and so we're just children on the earth but we, we, our mind wiggy waggy you know we don't really live good as, as our human being supposed to live. Why? Because nobody ever really teach, teach human being how to live. I mean, they might just teach human being other things to them. But the, the real way a life, nobody teach it. Because you say, you have the devil in and you have God. And as far as me is concerned, right now, the devil have plenty influence. You know what I mean? plenty influence but all the devil influence lead to his death you know while Ja lead to life lead to life so like just it's just overstanding between people you mean when literal you mean literal death dead man dead dead while alive or literal death well you have a living dead too where you just can't show you, you know i mean you just i mean you know it's like Check education, you know what I mean? I'm teaching, I'm teaching lots of things, you know what I mean? And if you come up with this, what you call it, modern civilization, you come use the mathematics devices and all of them type of equipment. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? But what God is concerned, it's like nobody don't really want to realize when they part the death. It's everybody like, I try to go to death. I don't know if I can get, I don't know if I get the message straight to the guy. No, that's pretty straight. Yeah, straight. you know yeah, what I mean? It's but is that is the real thing about it. Because until the philosophy which will one race superior and another inferior is finally and permanently abandoned, then we will have no peace. A lot of the Rasta, Rastafari message, that uh, the Rastafari testament seems to be in prophesy. Prophecy. Yeah, we can't have a living prophecies. We can live with a future, like an aim. I said, this is where you want. Because all the majority of people want is, is like, you grow up and you come up and you hear say you have laws. So you must abide by these laws. Now, you must go to work. Now, if your generation or your family was wealth people, then you belong to the ghetto. So when you belong to the ghetto, you have to work from the ghetto. So there's no way the guy from the ghetto can work to make himself like the guy who owned the place where I'm working for. You know what I mean? It's like a colonial thing I go on. So, what the question you asked? Which was the question you asked about? The question about, uh about whether or not there was a, a, a current Rasta live prophecy of what was going to happen in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah man, well, over, over the years to come, you know that Rasta man must go over to Africa. I mean, and it, it, it sound like, sometimes it's going to sound like funny to some people, because the way I would explain to them is not explain properly, so you can understand, so maybe sometimes it can sound like it's mad, like it's a mad thing, you know. But it's true. Our desire is to go on to Africa. And that is why that is what the world war is for. You know what I mean? Freedom. Certain things are hiding. Must be revealed. Certain things that happened a long time ago. Must be revealed. And so them no one them thing to reveal so that man still in captive, you know, but they beat the beauty is we go on in Africa. But Rastafari settled for making Jamaica more like Africa and, and staying here? No, or no, no, settled for Jamaica. And, but, 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 Jamaica's quiet. I mean, in a sense, a Rastaman is concerned. The history of Jamaica is just prophecy, you know, it's something that no one can't hear. Just like if you have a egg and a brain, you can't put it together again. 
you know what I mean? We call the egg break. So Jamaica is still like that. It's just something that must happen in creation that we have lived from the West and go back to the East. Jamaica is part of it. Are you saying that Jamaica can't be fixed? Hmm? Are you saying that things wrong with Jamaica, Jamaica can't, can't be fixed? Jamaica can't fix fire, I. Rasta, man. Can be. Can't. No, it's plenty. It's the only, the only way Jamaica could have fixed is if we bow to the colonial type of thing. And then you have to be like what they want you to be instead of just. No, you have to fix the system. Now, when we check out the system, the system said that. You know what I'm saying? And the Rasta man said, like. But for some reason, I don't know why. For some ambition or some. False pride, something going on between a certain people who think a certain way about, you know what I mean, I'm coward, I don't know what's going on, people just don't like, it's everything you have to fight for, you know, people just don't see the thing as easy as that, them fight for it, you know, and sometimes it comes like it's worthless, really fight for the truth, and everybody should know the truth. You feel, you feel then reggae uh, music is the way for you to spread your message? Through music. Through music. Um, we talked to some uh, Rastafari, you know, over the week, and some of them seemed to think that, um, that it was selling your culture, uh, and it didn't approve. What do, you, what do you think about that? Well, if God did give me a song to sing, then I wouldn't have a song to sing. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? No, the thing we're even talking about, I'm talking about, something different from what I am dealing with. I am dealing with a universal togetherness. Until the philosophy, no, his imperial majesty said this, until the philosophy which all one race superior and another inferior. Good. You understand that? Yeah. No, we don't partial. We do your white, black, pink, blue, green. You understand? The thing is, until the philosophy, until prejudice and self-human, self-inhuman, self-interest, you know, is replaced by tolerance and goodwill. No, God said these things. You know what I mean? So when we check out the people, man, you know, really that segregated, because when the Bible in every man house, you know, the Bible in every man house, so. You can't sell culture. Them sure glad we do things like this to really make people know and realize the truth and can deal with it because pressure is up off a plenty of rest, man, too, because of certain things that happen. You know How would you feel if the result of this was that a lot of white kids came down from America and it, every all Jamaica became like Negro? Eh? How would you feel if the result of this was that a lot of white kids came down from America and all of Jamaica became like Negro. No, Jamaica became like Negro. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then I just the change that I've met first before them being like Negro. You know what I mean? Some great changes. And to Jamaica is not the place you know, I, I want to live. Jamaica is... Do you feel that you have to to have this philosophy of one race superior to another uh, disappear before you yourself can go to Ethiopia and live? Do you, um, and how long before you? Until, until that day. The dream of lasting peace, world citizenship, and the rule of international morality will be just a fleeting illusion to be pursued but never attained. Or it's a, it will never be attained? Until that day. Do you think you're going to ever go and live uh, back in Africa? Yeah. Think the time will come, it'll happen in your lifetime? Yeah, man. Time is now, you know what I mean? Time is now, but it's because plenty is not alone for Africa to go in. It's plenty, it's plenty of I and I. I mean, this is not nothing to hide, you know. It's the thing that come out already. Mark of God said, Africa for Africa has been good for us. What is the rest of attitude to women? Yes. <laughs>
Like how a, a man should treat a woman. Don't you get me real life? What do you say? All of this causing the problems is because the devil needs everybody alive. You understand? Because the devil needs everybody alive now. Because, check it. When I watch the system, I see everybody work. And some man get hurt on the job. I don't say he must work, you know. But you just can't get, you just can't work for what you want. It's somehow, you just can't never reach that goal. You understand? Because your PA is limited and is strict, you know what I mean? Them know that this could never really do it. They might find one guy who is a poor man, really live the way all he might, and not even fullness, you know? Yeah, man, the system kill people, man, so we can't tell the system. We can't stand what on, you know? <laughs> I wonder if everybody want to drive a car, or if everybody want to ride a donkey. Because if that is, every man on the earth want to drive a car, then you have too much car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you have too much car. Are you involved, um, are you as disappointed with the current government as a lot of other Rastas seem to be in discussions on that Well, the present government, past present, only one government, you know, the government of Rastafari. You know, cause I know it. You know, live within them guys that things, you know, live outside of it. Come like a bird. We don't check out certain things, you know, because we know what is going on, we know that the rule come down from Uptown and come on, yeah. You know what I mean? So where them guys are kick up hell, man. Nothing are going on. Are you concerned with changing the government here in uh, Jamaica? If the Rastas don't vote? Mm. It's not going to change. It's not going to change. the beauty about it. The beauty about it is that Jamaica is that we come from Africa. And none of the leaders them want to accept that. All them want to call it Jamaicans. We're not Jamaicans. You understand? You are the leaders. Yeah? The leaders too, right? You say the leaders. Yeah. Like in politics now. Man, no, they're... politics now. None of them going to say them. They're going to they desire for the people. The majority of people desire in Jamaica to go home to Africa. But none of them were ever like, say, well, then, well this, this is what the people want. Let us give the people what they want. Under that, you know? Is it's you always a, a thing. You must stay and die here. How many people do you think would go back to Africa if, uh, if they gave them what they wanted? Well, watch me. Today is not the day, you know? You know? Today is not the day. But. 144,000 plus a multitude followed. 144,000. 144,000 in the Bible. Plus a multitude. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> what was What will be the Ross's reaction if there's a lot of violence it's in Jamaica? Man, man. Them, guys, them, them guys, them guys, them guys that we deal with in the 12 tribes of Israel. We're not talking about government you know government wrong we're talking about a different thing now right. 12 tribe of israel you right. know because them where, where them guys to deal with is just to confuse you that you be a little idiot and talk about them in jail when there's nothing happening more than you get one letter from england and you read it and that's it you know mind i mean nothing no, no really i'm not anybody worry about you know like what do you think of the situation, Jimmy? Come blah, blah, blah. It's, it's not really that. We know, say, somebody won't come, come talk the truth. You know what I mean? Because all what is happening, all the money and all of that, what I'm talking about, none of them really dealing with the, 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 the people. It's be a machine, you and them fuck. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Machinery. I mean, the people. 
don't know what I'm going to do. There's only one man care for the people, you know. And it's God. You understand? If I hear them say, every man for himself and God for us all. So, you can't be like, go straight, make politicians carry a straight. Because them can't fall in. You know? Mm -hmm. But them can't make crime. So, we have a system how to capture it, that they can take it and sell it back to the man who planted it. Mm -hmm. But, you know. Do you think that reggae music has the power to move Rasa up into the world? No, the people have the power. The people have the power, you know what I mean? Because we need the people have the power. But we want the unity, and the only unity we can get is to Rasta. The only message we really get to you know is to reggae. Because that's the only way we can get to right now. Because, you know. And, and, and it's not because. And it's not because. And you see. And why? Let me show you what that, that is why the people have the power. It's not the DJs want to play and deal with the reggae, you know. It's the people who want the music so they have to play it. You know what I mean? It's not selling um something I go on and is the people want music because over years and years reggae or uh, music this music has been you know what I mean push and push through and push back and thing but every time them push it back the people kinda get more come back down to earth so them start dig like them start remember like the man alone used to play from the coast of guitar the man is there the, the music now start get the song in that way like become earth rooted. So you see it, it creep up. I think the time is right then for reggae in the States and in England. People are starting to buy more of your records. You sold uh, quite a few records. Yeah. Yeah, I sell a couple more records. I sell a of times. Do you think Armageddon is coming? Armageddon is here, man. <laughs> what is it? Righteousness against sin. Well, righteousness against sin. Does the spilling of blood fit into this? Yeah, man. Oh. Every day bloodshed. I mean, this is direct war, you know. Yeah, man. Nobody living like, I mean, peace, the righteousness don't cover the earth. Right now. So we find, although we are going and thing, you know what I mean? We inside our thing, we are going. But any time a guy beside you can get nuts and try all the things. You know what I mean? So we always like to take a chance. You know? Yeah. God, this is alien. I mean, might look near the song. This is alien. Righteousness. The only thing that can hurt, man. The 12th child of Israel. Yeah. I know I have three sons. Um, Shem and Jaffa. You understand? So, until we find these roots again, and if we don't find it, then politics and everything are going to still be a big thing to me. But we have to find, we have to find the roots again. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? So we can get to respect each other again and live. Do you think that God will bring down some kind of justice against the evil people? Well, right now, if you know, you see, God lives in a man, you know. Mm. You understand? So whatever you do, if you do it, so God is right there with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so you find out sometime, you find out sometime war start, mm. and then just get a guy and send him a war, and he's dead. I mean, it look away, you know what I mean? But suppose wickedness in them heart, then them have to do wickedness. You know what I mean? If wickedness over power. Because right there everything is, you know. God is in you. Both yes. you and Satan. Not in yourself. You have to know what God. So anytime you tell them, you want Jalu, then you find yourself start come together and agree. Okay, reason. You know what I mean? Yeah.
not uh, not all uh, reggae artists are Rastas, um, right? So they but they, they spread the same message and also uh, in the music and also. Is there any other kind of uh, music that you know uh, that's spreading the same message that you are spreading? Yeah, well, I don't really, I don't know, I don't, I don't hear none. But I know yeah, most of music has every song is a sign. You know what I mean? And rap music, soul music, and the music. Uh, I mean, it's music, you know. Yeah. But you have to be careful of the song you sing. You understand? Yeah. Because the word goes and take on to self flesh. Good. So you have to be careful the type of vibration you're trying to give to the people. For a woe beyond today that lead my people astray. So well, as a singer, that's why I personally like sing for the people instead of sing half the people. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, if you can find it out, but me prefer stay with the people, right? Or so, and sing for the people instead of sing half the people. Because you have to be careful of the song you sing. Since, since Chris Blackwell has come down in Island Records, he seems to be uh, somebody who can communicate very well with, uh, with you and, and, and you know, the rest of the artists. Uh, but now things like uh, CBS Records, uh, the, you know, now that the people in America, big companies, are catching uh, wind of uh, reggae, they're starting to come down. You think, uh, what do you see happening in that situation, the big uh, people from Babylon coming to exploit the music? Well, what? Will, will, will the poor... Make it happen faster. It just make the people, it just make the earth realize what is happening quicker. Can't stop it. Uh -huh. Because it's not for the money, you know, and the big company, you know, because it's the big company and the money. It's soon over. If we are brothers, the money is nothing between us, man. You feel that there's If no we are brothers, yeah. money, if we're true brothers, money is not a separation for us. Uh-huh. You understand? Yeah. Good. But I'm saying that, is there a... Like, you uh, are the most popular, you sell the most records, and there's other uh, reggae groups, roster groups that are on lower levels at the moment, not, not so well known. There must be a stratification. Uh, maybe they would sign with some company for the exposure. Yeah. Sort of be led astray. Yeah, yeah, you have to be careful, you know, because you have to know what you're doing, you know. Because you can get tricked, too. Right. I mean, if you don't know what you're doing, you get tricked out there. Have you been tricked? Yeah. No, I'm going to take experience. Yeah. I really get tricky. Have people tried to trick you? Have people uh -huh. robbed me, like, I mean, you know. But I can see. So you, you, you don't call it trick, you call it tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But once you can see that this is what happened, and you know, and you see. But if it's happening, you don't know about it, then that trick, I go on, you know. Well, them purposely, like, you know, you make record and then sell and maybe you don't get the royalties in the Jamaica for a long time. That used to happen. Are you maybe it's still happening now. I read somewhere that you were still sitting waiting for the royalties from I Shot the Sheriff, Eric Clapton. Yeah. Is that true? Are you getting them? The royalties, yeah. Yeah, publishing. I was curious as to whether all your records were made. Here, were the early Whalers, Whalers records that were recorded on Trojan all recorded in Jamaica? Recorded here, yeah, but pirated over to Trojan. Yeah, but never recorded in London there. Yeah. Yeah. They were recorded in London one time for CBS. They were uh, reggae and Broadway. Reggae and Broadway. Did Trojan take money from you? Did they treat you fairly? No, man, Trojan robbed them, man. Dance. Driver. Yeah man, children's a rabbi. Yeah man. All of them in this company. Rob man. I mean, them were dealing with West Indian music. Pure teeth then. Yeah. What was it about Chris Blackwell that convinced you he was different? Well, not really convinced me that he was different. It's just because I go to England. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. And if you go to England, then... It's the thing what was happening here was that when we do a recording and put it out on the street, some of the guys in England get it, take the record, make a stamper from the record, and pirate the record in that way. So we went to England now and see what going on. And see what going on and deal with Blackwell. See, I was, it was CBS first. 
previous look like them never knew what was going on. Yeah. yeah. But now they're down but here. Island and the guy who used to know what's going on. What about what plans do you have for Tough Gong? Some producing, yeah. produce some other artists. What other artists do you respect? Yeah. Like, like Burning Spear, I love playing the Jamaican yeah. music, you know? like Big U. Is he very, is he respected down here now, Big U? Yeah. What do you think of dub? Dub music, yeah, we love dub. You know, if you can take it. If you can take it? If you can take it. <laughs> <laughs> Are there ever, any times, ever times that you think it's like it's too, that you can't take it because it's... I'm not really getting involved with it so much. Mm -hmm. You know, find a more creative side. Do you think dub is like less spiritual than some of the other, like Burning Spear, say? Hey, dub. Dub is really mean to me. Right and tight, you know what I mean? Just the perfect girl. Mm -hmm. To me, that is a dubbing. That is my own meaning to dubbing. I mean, when we tell, when we say to my man, to my musician, and say, we went dub this one. For me, we went and make sure we play this one real tight. Mm -hmm. But when I'm called dubbing now, it's take a bass from it and hear yeah, a drum and bass are going and put some makeup on the guitar and yeah, make a funny sound. And, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To me, it's a dubbing that means. Right on time. Well, um, Lee Perry is uh, sort of uh, paving the way with Dub, huh? What uh, yeah. it seems to me, yeah. And um, you used to work with Lee Perry. He produced you. Yeah, we used to work together. Do you think he's a very important figure here in Jamaica as far as uh, bringing the music out to the world? Yes, I'm all right. I don't have ideas. Do you think you'll ever work with him again? We were working with him the other day, but for some reason, you know, I don't know, it might work again, I don't know. You, know? you were recently in, in, in Delaware, I understand, visiting your mother. I was wondering yeah. how you, if you, what you, what you felt about the States in your last visit, whether you feel comfortable there. But, uh, I just feel the same way, you know, I just pass through. But so, America happens sometimes, you know. I don't really feel different. <laughs> I just pass through and go, you know, look for my damn thing. Come back in New York and go, come on. You have a new record uh, coming out soon? Well, I've record out a new rat release. Oh, a single, right. Yeah. But there will be a new album? Yeah, we're working on it. Uh -huh. Is the single out now? Yeah. What? It seems that, that there is a, a, a movement among the media in Jamaica to almost keep reggae down. You don't hear that much on the radio. And you would think but that. But guys, the music is so much of a type of thing. It show up the situation in Jamaica. It show up so much of the situation in Jamaica that some people don't like the other industry, you know. Mm. Them people play like. Something you know, where you know we're really not saying we we're, we're really happening down here, but you know them can't get away from that. When I'm going to play it on the right radio, man, the people have it in their mouths. I'm going to dance and you know. So you feel know. the music gets out there in spite of the radio? In spite of the radio? Yeah, yeah man. When the good music ready, man, radio is important. You know what I mean? But once the music come out and I'm doing one play it on the radio, then. The big promotion is that this song is banned. So once I'm banned, it's everybody wants to hear it. You know? <laughs> once it's banned, everybody wants it. Well, didn't Manley promise that he wasn't going to ban uh, songs? Manley don't know what I'm man. Manley can't stop prophecy. Oh, yeah. You know, prophecy have had its course. Seems to me, I remember he said he wasn't going to ban songs. And uh, uh, what about legalization of Herb, you know? I think that's uh, heard unofficial. Herb is the healing of the nation, you see? And maybe Manley himself needed a light. Say, 
legalize it or some way or some other leaders. But who these guys get their orders from? No one tell them, yeah. <laughs> we got them get orders from somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah, they it get seems, orders. Yeah, it, it seems to me that uh, with the economy the, in the precarious position it is, uh, legalizing the herb, you know, could, uh, what do I say? could save things, you know? <laughs> and I heard unofficially that he was thinking about it. Yeah. And that he smokes it. Yeah, I'm gonna some kind of smoke. No weed smoke. I never smoked together yet. <laughs> do you think that, like, the government and also the radio stations are the forces of evil in Babylon? Like a radio station that doesn't play your records? Well, I wouldn't, I would like, I don't condemn people, you know? Leave our judgment and to tell. But if something is wrong, then it is wrong, you know what I mean? We're not saying that um, the individual is wrong, you know. We're saying the system yeah. mm-hmm. of all them figures say this is how they must do it. I it's wrong. So you wouldn't you wouldn't say you don't criticize, you don't wanna put anybody down. It's, it's we're not that we're dealing with each other. We're going to we rest the people on the golden dog. How we know that is the right. Well, do you think like people that do evil, I mean, do they do evil willingly and knowingly, or do they do evil because they don't know anything? Ah, uh, well, yeah, people who live in evil and think it's the right. Because, for instance, no, a raster man still don't want to smoke somewhere with good meditation, a policeman come to see him, stick him up, search him, beat him, can't watch him, put him in prison. No, who is this guy doing these things for? You know? Mm-hmm. The, the, doing it for somebody, and then doing it for evil. Because you can't see how right this man is. Because her herb grow, like yams and cabbage, just grow. So, Meditation. The greatest thing is that I'm the one who knows that I live. The one who's dead, you know. Do you, do you see the um, Rastafari as uh, sort of a parallel to the hippies in the, or in the 60s in the United States? And, and somehow, I, I mean, I, I understand how you view, uh, you know, her, but um, do you think it, in terms of the world's opinion, uh, it's sort of a drawback that, uh, you know, you advocate it? People are afraid of people who uh the hippie thing. The same type of thing is used to go on with the hippie. Is it go on Rasta? You know what I mean? But instead of hippie now you're gonna have a Rasta because them said hippie have to be Rasta as a stage them go through. You know what I mean? Because once you're searching it, and you're searching for truth, you must find it. And when you find it, then you can't go no further because this is it. What about um, you know movies like The Harder They Come and Perry Hensel and the uh, and the other movies he's working on the uh, showing you know mm. Jamaica and the power struggle and the, uh, you can't see that movie Harder They Come in Jamaica either. No, no it's banned. It's yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's good that movies like that are sent out to the world to show people what's going on in Jamaica? Uh, maybe in some way it's good because the more it's exposed, mm-hmm. being able to back up. You know what I mean? Because this guy wanted to be the one who said he did best. You know what I mean? I think they're good. I want to stop. It's good. Not everybody. Are you going to be involved in any sort of movie projects? Um, or would you work with Perry in any way? No, I'm not working. Have you ever heard Bob Dylan's music? Yeah. What, what's your opinion? I like, I like Bob Dylan's music. This is really said clear. Would you say that well, some of the things that you said are some of the things you said are coming from the same place? <laughs> Would you say that some of the things he said are somewhat similar to some of the things you would say? Comes from the same place. Well, yeah, much. Mm-hmm. 
for take up work. You know what I mean? You didn't know what gave me inspiration. Mm -hmm. You didn't know. You find that just you find that out. Like, it seems that every Ross musician considers himself something of a prophet. He's, 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 he consider that that uh, music, your music in particular, it's is good to think good at the self and good at others. I don't know if everyone thinks, you know, but it's just good to think good at yourself and good at others. But you feel, you, you feel divinely inspired? Eh? You feel divinely inspired? I divinely inspired? Yeah. Then my, then my inspiration comes straight from out like that. Do you look for eh? the same? Do you look for the same? You look for the same condition in the, with the people that you play with? Hmm? You look for the same inspiration in the people that you play with? Uh, the same spiritual... Yeah, man. Yeah, man. If it's not right, it's not going to be right. You know? You're not going to have a right. We have a right, that's when the ship rocks. We're still steady. You know? <laughs> it just have a right. There's... Something I heard yesterday that uh, some people in England had written letters to uh, some English magazine saying uh, saying that they were upset because of the lyrics in reggae, that uh, it was pure body music and that's all it should be, and they were upset that it was getting intellectual and people were writing things like you were writing, uh, you know, uh, about the Rasta. They say them vex. Yeah. They don't like that. Yeah. I think I'm business, you know. <laughs> What do you think of the rum culture? You, you're against it, aren't you? Rum thing. No, I mean, rum mash it down. The rum must mash it, mash it physically. <laughs> Arab is dealing with this. I like it. Arab, you know, smoke. Smoke Arab and everything. Smoke Arab and everything's all right. <laughs> but you think of people when they drink rum, they're it lowers their heads. It's, 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 it, it takes them down from heights. Yeah, tear you up, mash up the inside. <laughs> yes. You know, just kill you. It's just this thing is to kill you. Know? And everything you see them do agree with. Them do agree with her because her make you feel solid. You see, when you smoke her, your conscience come right in front of you and you see. You see? So, if your conscience not, not, not tear up too bad and you can get it better, you get it better. Where's the devil? You don't like when you see your conscience and clean it up. For you know, so you're not going to do anything tell you to do again. You understand? Yes. <laughs> Trumpet might as well be the last. Many more will have to suffer, many more will have to die. Don't ask me why. Mm. Yeah. Right the yeah. Rasta's are non-violent though? No, Rasta physical. Physical? Yes, we are. I mean, you know what I mean? We don't come like no sheep to the slaughter. So you prefer like one time. You know what I mean? We don't go, go look war, we, 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 we deal that thing in unity. But you see, the guy don't have no power for doing certain things to him. He just don't have it. With the difficult uh, situation in, in Kingston going on these days, do you ever have fears for your personal safety? No, it's not. Police harassment? No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not afraid for them. I mean, you know, if they can't fight them, I'll fight them. Because I'm going on the street and I see a roadblock. And there's a street for me to turn off before I reach the roadblock. You better go and turn off. Uh -huh. You know, just go down and go get searched. So. Ever been in jail? Yeah, I've been in jail one at a time. For what? For driving out light skin. <laughs> 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 what do you think of the gun court? Gun court? A wickedness that man. I think they're wickedness. You know? 
Well, you said before, he said, uh, Ross is nonviolent. You said, no, Ross is a physical. I mean, would you ever get, under what circumstances, would you get violent if a wicked man was uh, But if somebody want to kill me, if somebody want to try to hurt I, then I know I'm going to murder I. And if the only thing I can do for, for, for don't make him murder I, is it's to defend right. myself. I'm no one. I'm no one, I let no one on you. Do you feel that this car represents Babylon? The car? Yeah. The system represents Babylon. The system will mean death. You live in other systems. I was wondering how you felt that you could have this, considering the way... Uh, this is not this, man. Not this. I know BMW means Bob Marley in the way. Like, no. <laughs> I mean, British me. Yeah. War car, anything. <laughs> you know, it can be but we didn't bother my young years before them came come back to me. So then any, uh, this car, say, doesn't really even belong to you. It belongs to you and all your brothers and sisters. Is that this car, this car belongs to the road we want to walk on. At the time, we don't want to get there. And if this car can get you there in that time, you know what I mean? The car belongs to what? The road? The road. They Sorry. want to go for it. <laughs> they want to get there. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the car belongs to. Me and a man are looking for that. And time down to get into the and your donkey will feed them all the night. And a man, you know, you see that. And you know, in the man, when the donkey see you, the donkey break. <laughs> you see this? <laughs> when you see this, no one see. What do you think about people who come down and ask you all these questions? What do you think about it? Well, I mean, that's one of the people who ask me the question. Every time I answer it, them, them get the, the, the right understanding of what I'm dealing with. And um, try dealing with it the right way. Because plenty of time, plenty of guys just write for those kicks. You know? Like, in just turn this thing in a joke thing, right? Like, it's a joke thing, man. And just feel this thing. Do you feel that people turn it into a joke when they write about it? A lot of Someone people turn it into a joke thing, yes. Like, <coughs> you know, like a joke thing in the ground. I mean, it's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. They don't take your ideas seriously, man. Well, I talk to them, but you know what? It's probably like them can't understand certain words. But they must hear upon the tape of paper, and them can't understand the real me explain it. You know, because we can't explain it. We can't have more than one meaning. I don't like the words <laughs> But I mean, you're, I mean, we're here right now, and you're still, uh, just, you're not too uncomfortable about sort of the parade of people that comes in. I'm in a business about that. I'm in a business about that, you know. You accept that as part of the business of making records? But yeah, there's a part of it. I try to put myself in your position and say, how would I feel if, you know? I don't know. He knows the feeling. Did you ever ram a goat in this car? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you ever ram a goat in this car? A goat? You know, ram goat? Hit a goat. No. Yeah, he did. A lot of people do in their cars, right? In Jamaica, yeah. they ram, they go out on the roads and they run into goats. Yeah. No. You, you, you wouldn't do something like that, though. No, 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 no. I mean, you know. I don't, people live good purpose, you man. Sometimes good, <laughs> oh, they're foolish. <laughs> foolish goats. Yeah, but you see, from this year goat, then from this year goat, you're supposed to, you're supposed to start communicating with the goat. <laughs> and make the goat lose the air come. For a goat smart, you know. When you click a goat, man, you're sad. Yeah, okay. Any man used to ram a goat. A roster wouldn't ram a goat. <laughs> Any man ram wow. a goat, sad. Yeah, unlucky. <laughs> unlucky for that DR2. <laughs> However. <laughs> what about the um, situation in, in uh, Frenchtown? Um, we were talking to somebody and they said that it's, 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 it's bad, but, it's gonna, but the bad thing will happen if the people who come from the country to Frenchtown can't get out again, can't go back. They're there by choice. Mm -hmm. But when it closes up, <laughs> it explodes. <laughs> wow. 
Man, you, think, do you think people are <coughs> Rastas and people are making mistake coming from the country to Trenchtown? Oh my, yeah, yeah. Hey, politicians are different from Rasta, you know. Rasta man are different. You don't know nothing about politicians, Rasta. You don't know nothing about politicians. No more than years, a war going on. How long do you see yourself in this business? <laughs> no, well, we create this business. We come from the root. No, it's not, the system, you know, how long we are in the system. We are not a system. <laughs> we, are the one, we are the one we all and pull the system. Man. You can be both in and out of the system at the same time. We are not a system. Them can't get in the system. Mm -hmm. When you're in the system, that is when you're being. And then you come in like other guy who in the system. Reason that guy will, will live with the system and sit and don't talk different from me. Just go out there and meet any guy, but you have a couple of clubs around here. Just go in there and meet any one of them guys and talk to them and hear their idea or what they, and then you can get them to find out. What really are going on? You know what I mean? Because if you talk try alone, then good, but it's nice if you talk to other guy where he looks straight. Try to get a straight guy to talk to and hear him and deal with it. You said you said clubs around here. Uh, is there a lot of places for uh, young uh, reggae artists to be exposed in, in the country here? Is, it, is there a good flow? Well, for us, I used to have a whole lot of places for you to sing and sing, but right now, not much now going on. Have a season, and sometimes just turn up. Can one Rasta man talk for another? In other words, most of them can back. We're put together in this and we're agreeable. If we're right, we're right. We're not reason with one another. You know what I mean? When I go out there, I say, well, then this man must have to himself and that man. You know what I mean? Together. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. One for all and all for one, you know. What are you saying? This man, no fear. No fear. Do you think. Uh, how do you think your music would change when you go back to Ethiopia? That can happen. Would you keep doing your music when you go back there? Music. Love music, man. Do music, man. Do music anywhere. Else. But would it then change? Change? Yeah. Change from them type of song. Yeah. Can you sing a part of song that's You know what I mean? You just can sing your father's song and a strange song. No one will know about it. Ula. The protest until they get it. Ula. <laughs> Can I ask again about Trenchtown? I wanted to know what um, what are the people coming to Trenchtown for from the country? Nobody coming to Trenchtown from the country. They don't? They're coming now? Years ago. Years ago? Years okay. ago. People are coming to Kingston, man. I mean, if it's coming to Trenchtown, then, you know. Coming to, coming to Kingston what, end up in Trenchtown. People don't just come from, from country coming to Trenchtown. People come from country coming to Kingston and uh -huh. go anywhere. Uh -huh. But some people anywhere is sometimes Trenchtown too. As well as well up south. Uh -huh. you know. Would you feel safe going to Trenchtown, walking around? Yeah, Trenchtown? Yeah. Safe. Yeah, like not worried about your life. I'm going to see if I can work in a trench tower, man. But you know what I mean? If a war going on, no, if a bus coming out there in the street, then you stand up in front of the bus. Yeah. And the bus run over you, then you do a fart. <laughs> so if you do something, well, then. <laughs> war are going on, you're going on the war. They have a fight, war. That's so war go. It seems, it seems to me that if that if the Jamaicans, uh, people get the idea that you're not working for Jamaica, but just working to go back to Africa, then maybe they won't support you. Who? Who? People. The, the people out here in the country who buy the records. Oh, the people, who, the people who know what I want. People who are living there, man. They can't stop this thing. It is a devil. Hey, a long time devil I want. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Well, we come to beat the devil, and it's good over evil. 
But I mean, they may not be able to stop it, but they may be able to. I'm not not busy with them, no. You see me? I'm not busy with them, no. Where them can't support. You know, they don't support business. We don't talk about them things. Because my brethren can feed me and I can feed myself. I'm going to leave off of them where they are living. When we go out to go sing, I will find energy and spend for them, you know. But them they know about them sit down there, laugh and clap. No energy me, I burn right in front of them. They educate them. What other, what other ways is uh, Rasta being this spread? Uh, I mean, there's through sports, like your friend, the soccer player, Stevie, and uh, Greg, the tennis player. Greg? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's spreading, uh, I mean, Rasta and, and the message into the world. I see. Yes, I know. I was asking you about the other ways besides reggae music, which the Rasta and the message is being put out into the world for people to hear. Yeah, the Bible. The most popular book in the world. Except you have to tell people to look in there. Eh? I mean, you have to tell them. Everybody's got one, but you got it. And then I read the Bible. It's coming out of them too much. A lot of people read the Bible and they don't see it. Yeah, right, they don't understand. They don't read it down to nothing. That's right. You know, you know, have no way I do. So I'm saying it. Certain yeah. things, you have no what to do. So I was asking what other things are getting, what other methods are there that uh, are telling the people how to interpret the Bible correctly? Because there's all those different interpretations, yours included. And they may look in the Bible, like you said, and, and they won't even they won't see what you're talking about. Well, and it's in the Bible. Yeah. Uh, they can't, they can't see. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> God's not everyone who's alive, 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 can't die. He's not everyone on the earth. <laughs> Many more will have to die. Do you ever get together in groups like going to church? Sunday except it's in a different form. We we'll all get together and talk and people get up and say things that kind of thing crazy. And then I reason, you know. And then I reason. You know, and then I reason. Did you ever go to any churches in America, like black churches, and listen to gospel music? Well, yes. I went on one of them churches for one time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Some, some, yeah. Some, yeah. some gospel music. Yeah. You like it? Mm. The gospel music. Well, as long as it's a music, man. Love music, man. Mm -hmm. Love all them things sometimes. <coughs> well, but you would never, like, take things from music like that, or say jazz, and put them into your music. Mm? Would you Would you take things from gospel music, from American jazz, say, and put them into your music? I mean, are you influenced? Uh, music, music. Music, yeah, music. by other music or is it really Music influence music from the fretboard and the keyboard, man. Every time you t every time everything you play, somebody play it before. Mm -hmm. That's that. Mm -hmm. Because anything you do, somebody did it before. Mm -hmm. Nothing new. No. Maybe it's just me expressing. Because I'm going to hold your mind. A million your mind are holding the earth. And a million or more than a million people play your mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, in music that comes right from them places that you are any of the are any of the whalers faster, speeded up whalers music records in mix speeded up in the states than they are here in Jamaica? In other words, when the whaler, whalers make a record, do they have one for consumption in Jamaica for people who listen to reggae no, all I'm the time? No, 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 no. We keep one piece. You see, we're not hustling. No. We're not hustling. We're playing music mm -hmm. with a vibration where you are supposed to get it. Princess no, I really Sopranic. play this for these people and play this for that people. No, mm -hmm. play one music. Mm -hmm. That means if the vibration is right, then it just go right. What do you What do you think about the treatment you're getting uh, in the United States? I mean, the uh, all the famous musicians uh, flocking to your doorstep. Uh, all the. Uh, that I'm going over there. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't noticed. Uh, I, mean, <laughs> I remember the Roxy. Oh, uh, what you mean? I'm weird. Los Angeles when you play to the Roxy Theater and uh, whenever you have a star-studded audience and uh, uh, treating you like a new I really, really appreciate them coming like them can hear because they them so like 
It's the music, you know. You see the musician there. Yeah. The singers and the players of instruments shall be there. You understand? Because <laughs> we're in a rat, you know. We'll have come together. You know, I think what you got. Don't take long now, then. No, no. I can't explain it now because me, if, if, if me have the power to explain it, then we'll explain it and people will try to stop it. But you me don't know how it's going to go happen, but I know it's going to happen. I can't just explain it, you know what I mean? We got to search around and explain them things and to try to stop. Well I, well, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, you know? I think it's great that the people are coming out and, uh, you know, and recognizing it. I just wondered if it, it was what you expected or if it uh, sh shook you up a little bit. Uh, it was something to deal with, obviously. Glad them called. Do you feel the music uh, generally and, and, and popular music that the people, the, the listeners, the record buyers are hungry for something new. I mean, that's why they're creating stars like Bruce Springsteen and stuff like that. And feel they're hungry? Well, I feel like the, um, the American record company has spent a lot of money on this type of music. So this new music, I'm just come around and come see. They must try certain things, you know what I mean? So Bruce Springsteen and... I mean, reggae, reggae, reggae just I get the real. Reggae going to get the real fight, you know? <laughs> if it not get it already, still. I mean, we all them company, you know. All these them company are coming, we also try it. All them try it. But <laughs> can't get you to stop it, you know. So they might just take it. <laughs> yeah. Reggae yeah. third world music. Reggae third world music? So it can't get, can't get bought out. Uh. I was wondering how I could, we talked before about CBS Records now down here to sign people up. Uh, I mean, how you got you will be able to keep the control and the direction over the music so as to avoid all the corporate hassles of the big No, company. well, all right. Um, we don't do you see a CBS one and can be right. Um, well, what thing is we won't come together. Certain musicians in this place all come together. I need an island, a CBS, a Trojan, a Atlantic. You know, I mean, if you talk about reggae music, you know, the commercial thing like what you talk about. But when you deal with the message, you know, the music, that's a serious part of it. I mean, when, when time I deal with them, I mean, I remember the commercial, I mean, I remember who I buy it. I, I remember his song, you're going to sing. You know what I mean? Sing like I look by the by. It doesn't mean something. So you're controlling it down here? We have a control it. We don't mean our control it. We have to like tell like, every artist down here must know what they're doing. So I mean you're all to sticking together and uh, exchanging information to be careful and to not get sucked up by that one. I like that thought more. Do you think uh, people in the United States that listen to your records understand what you're really saying? If they understand? Yeah. Well, you see, you don't just understand one beat. You have to understand it by it. You know, you know, just get up and just understand and you just grow. So. Grow. Just like how you used to brainwash, like how my mother knows she'd have the brainwash. Mm -hmm. you now, if me to grow like how my mother the one me to grow. They may not be another brainwash one. You understand? But it's a two now. Two, two jar now. Turn and shake it up. And make you don't have that brainwash there. You see, it's easier for the people in America to get this thing. I mean, when you talk about the people, when I talk about the youth, you know, the youth may talk about, you know. Mm -hmm. Because it's a plenty of people, the people. The people. The people yeah, suffer. Yeah. But it's just them calling the youth, for the youth is strong. You know what I mean? So whether these people know now, or them want to know, or them don't want to know, we know someone in there have to know. Because why them want that iron iron in America, there's more than want to see anywhere else on the earth. Let me see that. Is it true that there are a number of false Rastas? Have lo they have locks, but false? I don't know if the third one wants that. You know what I mean? We don't judge people. We leave our judgment on to them. 
Good deal of that. Them seen that. Well, you know what I mean. I mean that, that they and consciously, the consciously, you know, they they just grow their locks and they go out and hustle tourists and. Uh, well, I don't know. I never meet them. I never meet them yet. <laughs> I don't meet them type yet. You must have wolf somewhere, but I personally never walk in the road to meet them to really check out that guy's life and check him out and check him out. You know, <laughs> meet man and man from the street and. So only, only way to tell is to really check it out, right? Well, if you want to tell, you have to check it out, yes. Uh -huh. You have to test the spirit to find out that you are. What can you do to test the spirit? Well, from you, tell man up there, ju judging him by him ear. And you feel that you're checking him, you just, you just move to him and check him. <laughs> and then you, you, then you don't know where you judge him, you, know, you can't judge him if you don't check him. You have to hmm. reason with him, man. Right. Yeah, and him tell you where my door. And if you don't want to tell you, tell you, you don't know how to go on like that. <laughs> Guys, almost get what you want. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Anything else you'd like to say, Bob? Mm. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> I don't have much to say, Steve, and I'm going to go to Sarah. Do you have anything to say, Yes, I would like a question. Yeah, that's my question. Yeah. I like the relationship, you know, what I'm searching for is what I'm searching for, and uh, the truth, the rest of the uh, uh, what reason about it. And the arts, they don't like that or something. No, no, they just ask me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, them, them come here, they're rolling from rolling stones or something, but they don't intact, so they don't believe it, they're doing it. But you know, they keep no talk about music, and they don't rest. Yeah, that's why I have that. So you probably say every time you talk about music, you are ask them to talk about, yeah. talk about music. I tell you though, none of us, I don't think any of us would be here if we didn't really feel the appreciation. None of us is here because we have to be. You know, none of us, it's not like we've been sent out by... Right, we all ask to come. We all... So your yeah. personal interest, yeah. you right. like to know right. the right. message that right. you're singing. Over. There are many right. youth in America who yeah. are very much interested in Rasta yeah. and yeah. want to know about it. That's why yeah. the records sell, you yes. know. And I, know a, I know a kid in Cleveland, Ohio, yeah. who wrote a song called Live Rastafari. Yeah. It didn't sound like reggae music, yeah. you know, because he doesn't know how to write reggae music because he's a white kid in Cleveland, Ohio. But there is an interest all over America in Rasta and reggae. And that's why we're here. Tell you about Israel. See, people don't know, like, like people in America that listen to your records, like, they think, a lot of them think burning and looting, you mean burning and looting, like, let's go out and have a revolution and, and burn and loot, and they don't realize that that's not what you mean by that, you know, there's a lot of misinformation, you know, a lot of misunderstanding that, that needs to be cleared up. Yeah, right. All interpretation of the Bible in the character. I can't believe it. It is exposed to every man to a man not to read and understand him to really regulate and see it in front of him and take him to his everyday. Well, that's what people have been telling us all over Jamaica. Yes, well, as you know, as the man, I forgot to read and understand the Bible and get the correct instruction to read it that way. Otherwise, then you'll get wind up in a lot of roots and isms. And you won't be free to go to and understand the mystery. And this one just give on to your son. The work and labor that God said that you are really interested in this one. If you read the Acts of your pastor, you see that. If you have any understanding of the history of the Bible, and you go right to it, you say, it's two children of Israel, you must be raised on it. And if you do, it's where it's going to be a son. That body of people. Well, one effect of this, I think, that could possibly happen if people read about this and read what Bob says and what you say, would be, um, they might start reading the Bible when they hadn't been. So. This is just the word. No. It's not no, what you know, the individual is the word. How great was the word now? How great was the company that came yeah. So the word is from ever. Not In the beginning was the word. Before even man was the word. And you see it. And the word was God. And you see, because if you is a child of God, you know, and you see yourself humble enough, you know, power. The only way you will know yourself unless you go back to the Bible, because in the Bible you find the truth for yourself. The, Bi the Bible is the rallying point to all humanity, right? That means that you can't come look on a man if you come and say, boy, it's a rascal, man. You're not really seen that way. 
he can't see me kind of externally in him look away but more time you go to him now internally now and try you know to really rap with him then see what he's made of then maybe you found him wanted because he's not functioning the, 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 I mean the right gear as you know as one supposed to function you see so being a raster man in this dispensation you have to really read the bible to really have a knowledge of what we the taking place you see yeah this is election year isn't it next this whole year coming up next yeah. February? That's so? mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all? Mm -hmm. Election year this year. So then, but now? Next year? Next year? Yeah. I figured this would be a very crucial year before the elections. Do you think it's going to matter what happens? <laughs> well, I don't know.